Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's WordPress tutorial, I'm going to be doing a hosting it setup tutorial and a quick review of this hosting a 99 cent WordPress hosting. So how good can a 99 cent hosting plan possibly be? We're going to find out. So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a WordPress website. I'm going to set up exactly this website and then we're going to run a few tests and just see how fast it loads. One of the reasons I was interested in making this video is because hosting actually finished third in this Facebook poll in our WordPress Facebook group. So this is WordPress designers and developers recommending a host at the beginner level. So this came third behind the well-known SiteGround and Bluehost, and this offers quite a low price point. So definitely worth checking this one out. If you're interested in checking this out for yourself, I've put a link in the description. It'll take you straight here so you can have a look for yourself. I also have a coupon code in the description as well. So that'll give you an even better discount than what they're offering here. So check that out as well. So anyway, let's click start now. And this will take us to the choices of plans. Now we're going to be using this 99 cent plan, but there are a range of plans. So if you were using this for serious e-commerce, you'd probably go for that top tier cloud hosting plan. But if you were using it for something very simple, like a blog or a personal portfolio, something quite simple, this 99 cent plan might be quite good. Now, these ones here all have unlimited bandwidth. This one has a 100 gigabyte limit. That's going to be fine if you're only having, say, 10,000 or so visitors a month. I think for most people, this is going to be plenty. But if you have a more serious uh, e-commerce or business need for your website, then go for one of these higher tier plans. But let's go for this one for this demonstration. Let's click add to cart. Now, this will take us to the checkout. Now, to get this 99 cent deal, you actually have to sign up for a full 48 months. If you sign up for a shorter term, it does cost a bit more per month, but overall, 48 months, still under $50 for four years of hosting. It does seem like a pretty good deal still. And we do have a coupon code we can use. I did organize with hosting it to get a coupon code here. So we can put in idea spot there and click add that code. And it's even given us a little bit more saving there. So only $44. So we can scroll down. The other thing we might want is a domain for our website. If you've already got a domain, that's cool. If not, you can just buy one here as well. So I'll try for ideaspottutorials.com. Let's click search. And if the name is free, it'll pop up there and we can add that to the cart. Then click continue. There are a few add-ons here, but we don't really need any of those for now. Let's just go check out. Then we just put in our name, email, and a strong password and click create account. Then choose a payment method, pop in your details and click pay now. Now it should only take a few moments for your account to get set up, but let's go ahead and get started on building this website. We're just gonna log back into our account. You can always get to your account from hostinger.com and just head to that login button there and click login. Then just put in the email and the password that we chose during sign up and click login. This will take us to our dashboard and we'll see our shared hosting plan here. And you can start by clicking set up and it'll say, welcome to hosting, uh, follow the guided setup and your website will be live in a few minutes. So we click start now, name your website. So we can use an existing domain or you can buy a domain here. So we're gonna be using an existing domain. So I'm using an existing one I bought a while ago, but if you wanted to buy one at this point, you could do it here, but I'm gonna choose that one. The domain I'm gonna use for this example is called ideaspot.space and I'm going to click continue and then click continue again. From here, we're going to start building a new website. If you're coming over from a different host, you could actually migrate your website using this one, but let's start building a new website or you can actually skip here and start totally from scratch. So let's try this one, build a new website. From here, we can select the platform for our website. Now, in most cases, we're just going to use WordPress uh, in some cases, you'll want to use WooCommerce plus WordPress, but you can always add WooCommerce to WordPress at any point. So it's no big deal which one you choose at this stage. So I'm just going to choose WordPress here. So now we're going to create our account. All you need is a nice strong password for WordPress. Make sure I'd recommend using a different password from your other passwords that you use. Just use a unique one each time. So I'm going to use a nice strong password in there and click continue. Just going to go ahead and save that password into Chrome. Now here it's going to offer you some themes for your WordPress site. Now you can totally just choose one of these themes, but I'm going to show you how to install a theme from the WordPress dashboard. So I'm going to skip this, but totally up to you. And now it's going to say, let's finish setting up. So the only thing we need to consider at this stage is your chosen website location. So by default, it's set to Europe, Lithuania. 
Uh, but you can click that little pencil thing and choose other options. So they've got Europe, Lithuania, and this little drop down here will give us Netherlands, North America, and Singapore. Now, I think the best way to do this is choose the location that's closest to your audience. So in most cases for English speaking websites, you'll choose North America. Uh, if you've got a European audience, obviously choose Europe. And uh, if you're in Asia or Australia, in my case, I'm going to choose Singapore because it's just going to work a little bit quicker for my demonstration if I choose the Singapore one from where I'm located in Australia. But I think for most people, probably North America is going to be uh, the best option for an English speaking audience. Now I just click finish setup and just wait a few seconds for this to wrap up. So at this stage, it's going to offer a few extra upsell upgrades. You don't need to pick any of these things. And after a few seconds, this little pop-up will uh, show up here. We're saying your website is ready. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and click continue on that one. So this will take a few seconds to load up. So now it will say your website is ready. Give your domain a few hours for DNS details to propagate. So if you've just bought a new domain, from hosting it, it'll take a little while for that to start working. But in the meantime, you can use the temporary subdomain to preview what your website looks like. So you can actually go to your website now through that temporary domain and you can see a, a standard blank WordPress has been installed. We can also go to our WordPress dashboard and manage the WordPress settings there. And we can also look at our hosting a control panel. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are in our control panel. Now this is where we manage our hosting account. So the first thing I want to do here is set up the SSL. Now you can get to SSL through the header there or we can scroll down and you'll find SSL icon down there. So either way is cool. We wanna set up SSL to get the secure padlock on our website like that. So let's get started. So let's just click SSL, click set up here. Then we select the domain that we're going to use. We're using ideaspot.space and click activate. And there we go. Our SSL is now active. From here, let's click manage and let's click force HTTPS. This will force our site to load using SSL. And now when we head over to the site that we created, ideaspot.space, we can see that it is loading with SSL because it has that little padlock there in the address bar. Now let's get to work and start building this website. So we can go ahead, we can log in down here and we just enter the email and the password we used to set up WordPress earlier and hit login. And here we are in our dashboard. The other way to get to your dashboard is just by typing slash WP dash admin at the end of your domain name. That'll take you here as well. First thing I've noticed here in this hosting, the nice thing is that Lightspeed Cache is already installed and set up. So that is a really nice in terms of getting good performance right out of the box. But the first thing I might look at here is under settings and permalinks. I like to make sure I'm using post name as my permalink structure. It was already set as custom structure. So I always tend to change it to post name, hit save changes. Next thing to look at is under general settings. And we do want to change the address URL to HTTPS and the site address to HTTPS as we're using HTTPS for all our web pages here. So let's go ahead and save our changes. It's going to ask us to log back in because we changed our site address. So let's just go ahead, log back in with those same username and password. Now we can get started installing our theme. So let's head over to appearance and themes and we're going to add a new theme. Now there are loads of cool free themes, but I think the quickest way to get started is still using Astra and using an Astra starter template. So let's go ahead, um, search for Astra in the search bar there. When we find it, we go ahead and click install and then we click activate. And now it gives us the option of using a starter template. So let's click get started. And now we can choose a page builder. I always think Elementor is probably the most simple out of these. So let's choose that one and let's get going. Now here we can choose a template. Now some of these require the agency package, but if you just want to look at the free ones, just select free here and we can see all the free options. So I really like this one called Mountain and there's a couple of cool e-commerce options as well, like brand store and cosmetic store looks really good as well. But for this example, let's just use uh, Mountain and keep it fairly simple. Now we click import complete site and we click import here. Now this does take a few minutes, so just be patient and wait for this to import. Then you'll get a message imported successfully. We can go ahead and view the site. So here we go, here is our starter site. Now that we're all set up, I'm actually a bit curious about how fast this website is actually loading. So I've run a test on pingdom.com and I've got a load time of 1.47 seconds. So that's not bad for a 1.8 megabyte page. So performing reasonably well. 
And over on web page test, I got an average document complete time of 1.38 seconds as well. So very similar. I really like this because you can watch the load video. So if we click watch video here, we can actually see the way the website loads. So when we click play, we can see there it goes, it loads up 1.4 seconds. So it's a nice way of displaying the load time visually using web page test. So this is probably my favorite testing tool. So I think for running a basic static WordPress site like this with nothing too fancy, maybe just a blog or a basic brochure type site, this could be pretty good in terms of priced performance. In terms of editing and customizing this page, all we do is just go edit with Elementor, wait for Elementor to load up. And in here, we can just go ahead and start customizing all the text and images to suit your own site. Now, I do have a complete tutorial on how to build a website with Astra and Elementor. I'll put that link in the description. Very detailed tutorial, step by step for building the complete website. So in conclusion, I did enjoy using hosting. I think it offers pretty amazing value at that 99 cent price point. I think it would be suitable if you've got a small project in mind that doesn't need to have a lot of traffic. I don't know how well this sort of website will hold up if you were having hundreds of thousands of visitors to that website, but for a low traffic blog or portfolio website, I think this would be a pretty decent choice. It does require a pretty long-term agreement to get that really deep discount. So that is a bit of a disadvantage, but overall the price, even over 48 months, still isn't that high. So if you're interested, check out that link in the description and also use that Ideaspot coupon code. You'll even get a better discount than what they're offering as well. So thanks for watching. Hit like if it's been useful. Also, as I said before, I have done a complete detailed tutorial on building a website using Astra and Elementor. Just click that video there. It'll take you there and you'll learn everything you need to know about building a website with Elementor. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.